What's going on, everyone? This is Benjamin Dixon from The Benjamin Dixon Show. I was online this morning uh, doing some work, and then I logged into Facebook, and I found um, a video by Fox and Friends on Fox News of a 12-year-old black boy saying some pretty hateful, deriding things towards Al Sharpton. I mean, if you watch the video, you could just see the anger and the confusion and the downright hatred in his eyes uh towards the uh towards al sharpton and what al sharpton stands for now listen i am no apologist for al sharpton by any measure um i have my own personal feelings towards al sharpton uh but in this case al sharpton is only a proxy for anyone who stands and speaks out against social injustice and racism um, that is still lingering in the United States of America. And the fact that Fox News has stooped to a new low to use a 12 year old boy to promote their narrative that racism no longer exists. And the only people who are racist are uh, race baiters or black people who speak out against racism. Um, the fact that they would do this just shows their level of desperation to exploit anyone they can that's going to conform to their idea of what the world should be. So I want you to listen to um, to what the little boy had to say, and um, then we'll discuss it. Al Sharpton, you don't care about black people. You don't care about me. You've done nothing but spur hatred in our community. You've done nothing to build us up, but everything to look like we are the victims. We are not the victims. Not everyone is a racist. Al Sharpton, if you really cared about black people, you would empower black people to stand up for themselves, to fight for what they believe in, not cause violence, not spur hatred. But you don't care. You're phony. You're only in this business to make money. And I'm sick and tired of people like you being the voice of my, of my community, of my race. Because you're not. You? Well, you're a waste of human flesh. So I, I'm not going to address the 12 year old boy because he's a child and and I, i'm not saying that in a dismissive way i'm just saying that in the sense of um he is a he is a kid who's been put up to say things <clears throat> that he very well could believe in his heart of hearts i'm not doubting that he believes what he says he you know, i mean he clearly believes what he says but he's being exploited by his parents and now by fox news and so i'm not going i'm not going to address him i'm going to address his parents and i'm going to address fox news uh, to his parents, I say, you better hope that this bet that you guys are making with your son's future works out. You better hope that the conservative movement picks him up and helps him make a lot of money, um, because if not, he's going to have to live with this um, all. And this is not his only video. He's, he has a series of videos. He's, he's going to have to live with your exploitation of him at an early age for the rest of his life, because this is the Internet and it doesn't go anywhere. Um, so you better hope that he actually gets some speaking engagements and makes a lot of money. You better hope he does the exact thing that he's accusing Al Sharpton of doing, uh, which is making money off of a racial conversation. If he doesn't, he's going to have to live with the baggage of this for the rest of his life without any compensation. To Fox News, I think it shows just a level of desperation and a level of unprofessionalism. It also shows the level of journalism that they absolutely do not have. This is news for them. This is what they want to promote. And this is how they want to stoke the um, the latent racism that lies in, underneath many of their listeners, many of the people who watch it. I mean, if you look at the comment section, you will see that the majority of the people who are cheering this kid on are all white. 99% of them are white. And that should tell you everything that you need to know about this scenario, that they, they're going to promote um, people who conform to their idea of the world, to their vision and their ideology. And so, you know, anytime they can find a person of color who is um, who can be put up as an example, um, example of their political ideology, they're going to they're going to promote it as far as they can. And not only their political ideology, but their racial ideology, they're, the way they see the world. They don't believe they genuinely do not believe that racism exists. And so if they can find one or two or three black people, you know, they have like the guy, Charles Haynes, who um, who's on Fox News regularly, the Jesse Lee Peterson, who defended um, who defended Michael Slager in the blatant, you know, the obvious murder of Walter Scott. You know, they are going to put up anyone they can who is going to forward, who was willing to forward their narrative. And if they can find someone of color to do it, they would out, they will roll out the red carpet to put them up and to push them forward. Now they've stooped to a new level of using children. 
And so uh, shame on Fox News because you are exploiting this kid. And unless you are going to compensate him and give him some money that's going to protect him and help him live his live a normal life, as much of a normal life as possible, then you're really genuinely just exploiting him for clicks. And and that is shameful. And it's not above you, obviously, but it's absolutely shameful. And this kid is um, ultimately the victim.